This is the BGS Groundhog download page. You can find it either by navigating to it through the BGS website or by searching for BGS Groundhog using a search engine such as Google. On this page, there is a link to the product brochure, which provides full details of which features are included in our free edition, which we call our community edition, and which features you will find in our low cost professional edition. In order to obtain a license for Groundhog Professional, please visit LQM's website. The link is here. They can also provide you with a free trial license. Please fill in your details and click Submit Form. This will then take you onto this form. You need to read the terms and conditions and click that you accept those terms and conditions and then download now. This will then download a zip file, which may take a few seconds. To begin the installation, double click on the setup.exe file, which is contained within the zip file. Please note, you will probably need to extract the zip file first and you may need to involve your IT technicians in order to get permission to run this. The first install window asks you to confirm acceptance of the terms and conditions. You will then be asked where you want to place Groundhog. It will default to program files, BGS Groundhog desktop, but you can change the location. Click next you will then be asked to specify the name to appear on the start menu and also whether or not you wish to create a desktop shortcut. The first time you open Groundhog, you will be asked where you would like to create your Groundhog workspace folder. It is very important that you choose an area where you have right access. In fact, Groundhog will refuse to allow you to choose an area to which you cannot write. If you have used earlier versions of Groundhog, please choose a new area for your workspace. You will be able to copy any files you require from your previous workspace later. If we navigate to the area where we have placed the Groundhog Home folder, we can see that several folders have been written in this place. These contain files that are essential for Groundhog to operate successfully. If you find, after you have installed Groundhog, that you seem to be having a few problems, such as, for instance, creating a new template and not being able to save it, or not being able to see the default templates that are shipped with Groundhog or not having access to the user manual. These sorts of problems are normally an indication that the workspace hasn't been installed in the correct place or that you have installed your workspace over an existing workspace. So I'm going to show you here what you can do to remedy this situation. To fix workspace setup problems, open Groundhog, select the main menu button and choose Session, Home, Reset. This will warn you that Groundhog is going to perform a full reset so that you will, in effect, restore factory settings to Groundhog. So if you have anything in the workspace that you want to make sure that you still have after you've done the reset, you should take a copy first of your Groundhog Home folder. When you have done this, or if you are happy that there's nothing that you are going to want to use in your existing workspace after the reset, then select OK. This will take a little bit of time. So we have a message here that is telling us to restart Groundhog. So I have restarted Groundhog and you can see here that it is completing the home reset and it will tell you when it has finished this with a message. So click OK to that and then Groundhog will start in the normal way and hopefully the problems that you were previously experiencing will now be fixed. If you have any problems setting up or using Groundhog, please email 
groundhog at bgs.ac.uk.